Alright guys, how's it going? Now, I'm a big advocate of add-ons that actually improve your workflow and save you time and save you money essentially. And PowerSave is one of these add-ons you should probably install first. <laughs> it's available for free or you can support the developer. Please, please support third-party developers. I cannot stress this enough. They are the backbone of the community and every penny helps. But PowerSave kind of reminds me of Save Incremental but it's a little bit more fleshed out. Now I'll let you read the description and I'll let you check out the documentation and there is also a supporting video. And it's actually made by the developer who kind of works on hard ops, so you know it's going to be good. But essentially it's an automatic saving system with an indication. So red is never saved, grey saved but with unsaved changes and green save latest changes so it means it's saved. I'll quickly jump into Blender and you can see up here on the top that Nothing has been saved yet, and that's because it's the default cube. <laughs> but I'll quickly jump into the preferences folder and we'll take a quick look at some of these options. So you can see here I have a base folder, and this is essentially where it will save to. We have auto save interval, and I believe this is actually in minutes. You can enable auto save, auto save to copy, save on startup, pretty handy, and you can inject things like the date and time in an incremental format, so it'll go up one, two, three, etc. You also have a few more options in terms of the width and the category and that's pretty much the basics of the preferences. So I'll quickly jump in here and I can press N to bring up the properties tab and I also have it here in the tab. Now I'll click power save, I'll automatically save it to the directory, it'll add the date and time and it'll add in the incremental save and stuff. Brilliant. And you can also now see it's went green so I know everything's saved. Now I'm a big fan of control and S highly recommend you use it, but this kind of makes things a little bit more refined. Think of it as a complementary system to just saving. So what I'm going to do here is, I'll just quickly tab into edit mode and I'll do something like a quick bevel. Do something like this. And you can see it's now changed to a grey, which means changes have been made, but you haven't saved it. So I'll tab into object mode, I'll use this panel up here, and I'll just hit power save. Perfect. Now everything's saved. And if I really want, I can open a project folder. I'll bring all my saves in. It's such a good tool. And I know it seems so very basic and primitive, but this could save you hours of work and it could save you money in the end. So I highly recommend you download it. I highly recommend you support the developer. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Gumroad. Do you know what to do? Take care.